And there's uh, <laughs> there's Elle getting yeah, in the background. Yeah, in the background. <laughs> Hitting the dab. All right, just waiting to see so, what we got. We see him repping the Luigi hat today, so. Yeah, he's, he's definitely ready to go. And we actually saw him on stage before the the set started or before matches started, and he was money matching with Sora. So. Yeah, he's been doing a lot of that. So Snake, okay, is going to pick the Pyramithra now. Uh, uh, I guess he's going to try to keep that thing warmed up. And it could have been, uh, I think a lot of people were saying that the reason why he didn't want to go uh, Pyramithra against a, uh, Light was because Light plays Cosmos a lot. And right. so he's like, probably has really good practice on it. But hey, man, even if the matchup is known, you can still bring something new to the table. So, okay. so we're, we're definitely going to see it this game. Going right into game number one, we got Snake uh, from. Oh, it looks like it's still Coda, but it's technically Ice Goat. So, yeah. Got to get that name changed over to Ice Goat. Yeah. But uh, soon enough, whenever I think Jux is doing something else right there. And. Or swapping, but we'll get it. We'll get it soon. Either way, this is gonna be a good start here for uh, for Ice Go. To be honest, it's got a really good start. Oh, say, oh, he's starting to get drilled into. But he's gonna have to recover high. Actually, does come down aggressively. If there's one character that you just can't trade with in this game, it's Snake. Yeah, absolutely. Like getting any trade with Snake just feels bad because he's always gonna come out ahead. All right, so Snake. Recovering high yet again, just barely avoiding these uh, forward airs here from Pyra. And one good uh, forward air should be enough to go ahead and take it. Okay. I, I love Ice Goat spacing right now. Just using, using the stage to his advantage. Love seeing a, a good snake do that. And then also really enjoy seeing the Pyra coming out from him. Gets the down air. That's going to do it for stock number one. 102% though. Yeah, no, uh, um, that was, I wasn't expecting that one that, to hit like that. I'm pretty sure that would be uh, the, the back air because of the angle that it's in. But like just, he looked like he was trying to duck it right. so that he could, you know, get some type of punish. Spargo got sticky. He, uh, all right, so Spargo just nerves the steel right now. <laughs> Goes for the tea bag and oh, then gets man. Uh, the C4. It was like that's 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 All so right. uh, such a shame though. Spargo, you know, that's a young man. He's supposed to have those young man uh, reaction times. He's supposed to, but hey. <laughs> yeah, obviously showed it showed his hand there. So, okay. So even with that. Uh, being said, and also being able to get that first stock, it just it's it is all on Spargo's side right now. At 170 on this snake, it's trying to do something to Pyra, uh, or yeah, the Pyra who's going to obviously do the big damage. This is a lot going right now. That's up, yo. What? He tried to finesse. He that was that would have been so clean. That would that would have been clean. Mm. Going for the C4, then going for the spike. Yeah. That would have been perfect. But still, 82 percent. Oh, already at 43. I was surprised that she was able to chop through that uh through that grenade and not get hit with that lightning buster. I guess it was just enough range. Okay. Good. Yeah, not gonna yeah. even make that back though. And we're down to last stock situation. Only at 53%. This is a good position for Ice Goat. Great position. I'm wondering if uh if Spargo had swapped over to Nice. Nice. Yeah. I wonder if Spargo had swapped over to Mithra under the stage like that. Would have been able to like use because Mithra has a little bit more drift on her upbeat, uh, where like she has the shot and then she'll kind of like push herself back and also get into like a drift uh, fast fall. Right. So I was wondering if he can maybe get around the lip of the uh, of the stage with that, but it is what it is, man. Still got the the, the solid W here. Yeah, uh, solid W. Ice Goat. Why I haven't heard of Ice Goat before, but his snake really liked seeing what he was able to do. Yeah. Had some really clean plays there. Definitely moving uh, on the snake right there. So just uh, I think Spargo. Yeah, as the as the match went on, started to get more and more comfortable, and that's always like that's always a tell mm -hmm. when the one other person starts getting a little uh, more comfortable. You can see it in their game, uh, gameplay. Right. That's exactly what Spargo was doing there. So. Right. All right. So going to game number two, we're going to town and city. Two, one, go. So. I'm not sure how I feel about this stage with the the Pyramithra uh, matchup for Snake. It's definitely a great stage for Snake, no, no yeah. doubt. But. In, oh, I think in particular, I feel like you got to watch out for these up airs being able to stack up like that. Because, uh, yeah, Pyra, she can definitely steal a game off the top. Or Mithra can steal a game off the top with her, like, almost set knockback up air if she can get all the way up there. And then, of course, Pyra is just, just strong. So. Very strong. All right. Oh. oh. Blew up himself there. Unfortunate. Yeah. Unfortunate. Lost track of that C4. Okay. 
managed to get through that photon edge not I feel like you, uh, one of those moves you definitely don't see as much of seeing that it, it is actually pretty easily punished but uh oh actually gonna double grab the ledge does take another punish uh here setting up the side though setting up yeah that side me from pirate uh from from mentor we don't see very often but gets a really great forward smash read on pyra all right yeah that was definitely optimal too man uh, like right right when he needed that swap i think even without the swap it still would have been enough off a, a, a decent charge but the swap was guaranteed uh swap f smash guaranteed to go ahead and take that stock right might and buster on the way down is that jump uh, is able to make it back is able to finally get that stock with the c4 oh okay good grab scoop the other way yeah, looking for some down air action here. That's going to be a neutral air, but not off the top, although it was very close. One thing I've been noticing, Spargo, is he's been using the grenades to his advantage a lot yeah. in this set, specifically. Okay. Spargo chasing him down. That up smash actually uh, getting interrupted, but he would have got the KO there that high up. Oh, okay. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah, that was a lot he covered uh, there, man. The the stall on the Flame Nova, in, or the using the Flame Nova on the platform to cover the whole thing just in case he aired out down. And then uh, the runoff up air to catch him uh, in the empty space, so. Yeah, covered yeah. all of his bases. So, yeah, yeah. you know, great, great job for Spargo. Game one, definitely looking, was could have gone either way, but game two, clearly in, in Spargo's favor. Yeah. The entire game. For sure. It looks like.